think it was a good month. Um, we started um, the conference, the first half of the conference, really well, um, playing really well, um, nine and two, and I don't know, we've just been playing some really good ball this first half of the Big East. The start of a new year will always attract attention for anyone with the name of January. At DePaul, Jessica January lived up to that attention in the first month of 2016. The junior guard was twice named Big East Player of the Week, a triple-double, three double-doubles, and a milestone, scoring her 1,000th career point. But really, um, it just comes down to the team that we have, um, the teams that I've been able to play with over the past three years. It's been so good and being able to play um, under Coach Bruno and have this opportunity to play here. Jessica is an ultimate and consummate competitor, and she brings competitiveness with everything that she does, whether it's in school or whether it's in practice or whether it's in the games. There's a reason for her uniform number. Jessica January is a name with 14 letters and with January 14th as her birthday, it's a symbol of pride on her back. But most of all, this high school track star from Minnesota is inspired by those who have her back, her Blue Demons teammates. Definitely now as a junior and just being here and it feels like, you know, everyone's like we're family here, even all the other staff and my teammates um, really do feel like I fit in here and it's definitely easier now and I get to see my family a little bit more frequently. We kind of got like a pattern of them coming to the games and stuff, so um, it's gotten easier. January is a top 10 finalist for the Nancy Lieberman Award, presented to the top point guard in D1 women's hoops. But after January's big January, it's the month of March that's on her mind, when the spotlight is brightest and when team leaders are expected to rise to a higher level. I'm proud of what we've done to be, have, have, be one of only seven schools to have gone to 13 straight NCAA tournaments. Only seven have done that. And they're great schools, the other six. But that doesn't mean we're in this year. We have so much more work to do, um, especially if we want to you know, do the same type of things that we did last year and make it to NCAA tournament. We're really going to have to just take one game at a time. We can't look past any opponent and um, really just focus in and stay in the moment of the games to try to, you know, just do the best that we can. Chris Bowden for CSNChicago.com.